Well, hello everybody. I was out imaging last night and I had some interesting problems. So I'm back inside my astronomy shed and I'm using my Cirrus mount for the first time in over a couple of months. I was imaging B143. Anyways, I connected everything up. Seems like everything was working fine until I tried to uh, connect up auto guiding using PHD2. And for some reason, it wouldn't recognize my Skywatcher uh, Pro ASCOM driver. That's the driver you have to use for the Cirrus uh, mount. It, it, it wasn't, it didn't recognize it. It wouldn't allow it to do pulse guiding. And what pulse guiding is, is when you use the computer to send commands rather than using this telephone cable to connect it up. This is how I used to have to do it. Now I have the old Cirrus mount and it has the version three sky sin scan control module and that's the way I used to do it for years and then last year I started doing a big upgrade and I downloaded a new software driver for that uh, controller and I was able to take this thing off this telephone cable off and I was able to use pulse guiding however for some reason I it wasn't working I was doing all sorts of crazy things and nothing worked and finally, I just reconnected this thing, and on PHD2 guiding, I, I selected on camera, because you, you got to use on camera when you use this telephone cable. And the guiding worked fine after that. So, I don't know what happened. Um, I've been using the Atlas Pro mount outside, and that never really needed to use the telephone cable. I've always used the pulse guiding with this. This mount uses the version 4 hand controller. So maybe that that just has a better hand controller. So I never had to worry about pulse uh, never had to worry about the telephone cable. I always used pulse guiding with this. But uh, it was only when I reconnected everything up with this. So anyways, just wanted to share with you some of the uh, craziness that you have in astrophotography land. Now, I'd be interested to know if anybody else had any similar type issues with uh, Skywatcher mounts. Th this mount is equivalent to the Skywatcher e HEQ5, the Cirrus mount. And the Atlas Pro mount is equivalent to the Skywatcher EQ6R mount, or so I think. So I wonder if uh, anybody else using those mounts had similar type of issues with PHC2 guiding. Oh, one other thing. I do plan on getting rid of this scanner, uh, this uh, SIN scan, eventually. I, I think that I can get a cable that goes directly from this mount to the computer, and I can bypass this the, using these all together and use EQ mod to control the mount. I'll try, I'll, I'm working towards doing that. I haven't done it yet because, you know, everything's been working fine and if something's not broke, why change it? But maybe that'll have, uh, maybe some somebody has can comment on that to see if they have better luck using EQ mod. Anyways, that's all I have. We'll see you later.